press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello guys, welcome back to JB Techno. So today we are here with an another video where I'll be showing you how to install Windows 10 in any PC or desktop. So let's get started. First of all, we'll go to any torrent website and we'll download the uh, Windows 10. So first of all, I'm going to Pirate Bay. I'm typing Windows 10. I'll also provide the link in the description. So it will be easy for you guys. So I'm typing Windows 10. I'm clicking on Pirate Search. Uh, so you can see number of searches here. But always click on the first search because it has maximum seats and you can download your thing very fast. So click on this, get this torrent magnet and your magnet, your uTorrent app will start. So that you can see I have downloading this. I am skipping this part. Now another software what we need is Power ISO. So you can see there are various versions of Power ISO that is 32 and 64. My PC is 64 so I am downloading 64 Power ISO. So I have already installed Power ISO but I will be showing you how to install it is very pretty simple. So first of all you all uh, another thing that we need is a pen drive. We need a minimum 8 GB pen drive to install the software. So I will format this pen drive but if you have any important data please keep it aside so that your data is safe. And if you have any data which is important in your computer please take in the backup of this because if you are formatting your entire uh, pen drive or your entire software i mean to say entire uh, laptop then no data will be saved so here you can see my pen drive has been formatted so now we'll go i've already downloaded windows 10 and power iso so i'll be sh i'll show how does windows 10 looks like if you have already installed windows 10 now i'll also show you how to uh, install power iso but i guess it is pretty easy uh, how you can normally install uh, power iso so you can here you can see this windows 10 is showing uh, showing you in uh, yellow color cd that means power iso has been installed and you can see the power iso options so i also show you how to install this c you can click on the license agreement of agree then click on next 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 and your power iso will install so after you have installed your power iso give a restart to your pc and then go back to your downloads and where you have installed kept your windows 10 then you click on power iso and search for the option uh, open with power iso so i am clicking on open with power iso uh, power iso is an unregistered software so you have to wait for five seconds and then click on unregistered continue unregistered so i am clicking on continue unregistered now i will go to tools option then i will click on create bootable usb drive so it is asking me for, me for administrating uh, uh, permissions, I'm giving it. Then again, I'll wait for uh, to get it registered for five seconds. Then click on unregistered software copy. Now you can see it is showing me the USB drive's name that is eight, minimum 8 GB uh, jet flash. So I'm clicking on the start. So this will uh, convert my pen drive into bootable USB drive. So it will generally take 10 to 20 minutes, I guess because it's in huge data that is amounting to 3.2 GB. So all my data will be overwritten. That's okay, I don't have any data. So you can see that it is writing USB drive. So now you can see writing USB drive. It is also showing you the percentage. Uh, and so it is saying 0% right now. Uh, it generally takes 10 to 15 that I already told you. You can see it is showing you 1%. So I've skipped this part and now you can see it is uh, synchronizing my USB drive and it is 100% complete. So once it will be handled complete, it will show you in this dialog box that is successfully completed. I'll click on OK and I'll skip all this. I'll close all the other dialog boxes. So when you have closed everything, you go to my computer or this PC where you can see my pen drive has now been converted into portable drive. And you can see there is showing you Windows 10 Pro version. So now I'll be restarting my Windows 10. So I'm restarting. I mean to say I'm shut downing my PC. I've shut down my PC. Now I will insert that U portable USB drive which I have booted then I will power on the uh, machine and then I have to press the uh, boot up option that is F8 my Toshiba has F8 uh, Dell has F12 and F2 might be so I will click this boot up menu will show and you have to click on the USB drive then this window will pop up then you have to install this window setup you have to identify your time and 
currency. I am from India, so I will select English India. So I am searching for English India. Okay. So then click on next after you have selected your language and keyboard options. Then it will say uh, asking you to install now. I am clicking on install now. So the setup is starting. So now you can see it is asking you for a license agreement. I accept the agreement. Anyway, we have to accept that agreement. So now we'll click on upgrade or custom. We'll click on customs because you can modify your. Uh, I what I what what I mean to say that your drives and all. So I'm formatting all my drives because I want to keep single drive. So I'm for first of all I will format all the drives. Then I will delete all the drives. Then I will create one single partition that will be my drive C where I'll be installing my Windows 10. So you can see I'm I've deleted both my partitions. Now I'll, uh, I mean to say I've formatted both the partitions. Now I'll delete all the partitions. And after deleting, I'll create a new drive that will be my drive C that will be full of 298 G GB. Apply. Now selecting the partition two, I'll click on next. So this partition two is basically Windows C where my Windows 10 will be absent. installed so now this installation process will take hardly 10 to 20 minutes so we'll wait for this process and i'm also providing you all the links for your uh, softwares need to be downloaded bit torrent how to download the torrent links everything will be provided so you know you don't need to worry you don't need to search everything will be in the description and so it will take time we'll skip this part until it gets 100% So I'll be skipping this part. So you, I have skipped this part. Now you can see it has installed all the features and it has installed the basic windows. Now it is installing the updates. So this again will take 10 to 20 minutes. So the overall windows installation takes one uh, approximately 35 minutes. So now click on restart now. So their windows will restart. So now it is getting ready. It is asking you for a Wi-Fi password. You can skip this step, but I want to go online and finish all my uh, like. updates so i am entering the password you can also enter the password or you can skip this step if you have wifi enter the password well and good if you don't have wifi skip it it's not necessary there are few things which will be necessary that i will tell i will tell you specifically so it is saying you just a moment that moment never ends actually it the moment is about 40 minutes So now it is installing the updates. Don't turn off your PC. Again, just a moment. Again, just a moment. So now it is asking you to enter your Microsoft account and all this blah blah. So I want to skip this part. It's not interesting. Now you have to enter this account name or username to this PC. That is compulsory. So that you have to enter. You can also enter password. Password is uh, not mandatory, but username is mandatory. So I'm entering JB Techno. That is my channel's name. So now it is saying we are setting up everything for you. Okay, let them set up everything. It will again take 10 to 20 minutes. Windows 10 installation is pretty hard. It, so now they are saying getting ready everything. Few ticks and let's start. So we can see it is showing you let's start and Windows has started. Now you see everything is so broad. is not the actual resolution so i need to change the resolution so what i will do i'll go to settings and i'll identify first of all what is my display so detect it saying you don't have any other display so it has one display only that is my one pc single pc if you have multiple pc install to one cpu it will show you click on advanced settings then change the resolution to 1366 that is the maximum resolution my pc has then apply you'll see the changes here Yes, I want to keep these changes. I'm clicking on keep these changes, and done. So now you can see my Windows 10 has been installed perfectly. Now I'm downloading some soft drivers, which has been deleted due to the formation formatting of this Windows. So I'm I will download all the softwares. That's all. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much. And stay tuned, guys.